Hi there, we're in the anechoic chamber at Axiom, and Tom Tuttle from our message boards wrote in to ask Andrew, the designer of the LFR loudspeaker, if the design could be used in a smaller loudspeaker, say one that crossed over at 80 hertz. And it's a very good question, and it's, it's actually a, a yes and a no answer. Um, the challenge is that unlike something like the LFR 1100 where we have a lot of cabinet volume to get decent low frequency output out of it, when you get down to a very very small cabinet and you have to have uh, drive units on the front and on the back to give you the omnidirectional radiation pattern, the problem becomes that the amount of cabinet volume that you have per woofer gets eaten up by the drive units themselves very quickly. So it's very difficult, if not impossible, to make an extremely small, compact speaker that's omnidirectional. However, the same principles from the LFR can be applied to uh, a big bookshelf, if you will, something that uh, you know, might be a cross between an M22 and an, uh, an M3. Um, the other um, issue is that you have to be prepared to feed the speaker exactly the same way as you do the LFR. So we still need four channels of amplification to run a pair, uh, no matter how large the speaker is. Uh, and you also need the DSP because what we're doing in the LFR that allows it to overcome many of the problems that conventional omnidirectional speakers have had in the past uh, necessitates the use of a DSP. So it's not going to be ultra small and it's not going to be very inexpensive, but yes, it can be done. Thanks, Andrew.